Um, so my goal for, for my race was just to kind of take it out, um, you know, see what see what I could do. I was pretty pumped after yesterday and my hunter back, and um, so I thought I'd have some easy speed. Took it out fast, paid for it a little bit at the end, but uh, happy with the result. Nice contrast to this morning when you're out real slow, and was that sort of just like cruise as much as you could this morning and save up for a real run at that 135 tonight? Yeah, I mean, I was just trying to do enough to make it back to finals, get myself in a good lane. Um, so the races tend to hurt a little bit less when I go out slow. So that was kind of the thought process this morning. Yeah, um, I think I executed pretty much my perfect race strategy. I actually had my easy speed stroke count for the first 125 and then hammered the last 75. Um, I didn't think I was going to be a whole lot better than 50 flat, so I was pretty stoked with 49.3. Yeah. Can you just walk us through your week? Did you expect to have that kind of weekend this, this weekend? Um, I don't typically like, go into meets with expectations. I just try and do the best I can. Um, I knew I was going to be in some battles with Will. Yeah. That's always fun. Um, but yeah, as far as times, I mean, I surprised myself, I think. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about your relationship with Will? Yeah, uh, me and Will have been on the come up together since like, I think, 09 National Selects wow. Camp. Um, and we've kind of had the same progression. I mean, I'm a really competitive guy. Like, <laughs> I typically don't enjoy seeing people I compete with do really well, but that's not really the case with Will. I mean, he's a good dude. I love seeing the guy have success. And he killed it this weekend. Wait, where did that fly come from? Because you were really killing the fly. Um, in both IMs, a lot stronger than we've seen in the past. Yeah, 21-3. I heard a little bit on the end. Um, yeah, I mean, um, we train a lot of strokes. I mean, mm -hmm. IM group is pretty stout at Cal. Um, I mean, racing this guy on the front end of 100 and 200 IMs and workouts helped me. Ryan, you had a lot of responsibilities this weekend mm -hmm. uh, on all the sprint relays. Um, it's 400 this morning and tonight you're going like 41s. Well, where are you finding all this energy after, you know, after some pretty nice back ones? I don't know. Um, I mean, Dave keeps on telling me that I'm getting better with each race, um, but I don't, I don't really think that's the case. Um, I don't know. Just trying to do it for the team. They get a lot of adrenaline going in me. Um, and our massage staff does a great job too, getting me going. You said you were tired after last night. Did uh, some of that go away as uh, you continued to perform at an awfully high level today? Uh, I don't think it went away. I think I just maybe got used to feeling tired. You know? With uh, um, you guys are probably going to relax and, and enjoy a pretty solid weekend tonight um, and maybe tomorrow. But like you guys have big goals for obviously this summer. What is what is for two guys with, with with Olympic dreams here? What does it look like for you coming up next week and the week after? Do you guys get right back in the water? What's the process look like? Training? Yeah. Monday morning? Right away. Uh, maybe on the morning. Yeah, <laughs> Certainly afternoon. Wait, Dave told me to warm down after the 4 3 relay because <laughs> yeah, we're getting back in on, uh, on Monday. So, Josh, just, you obviously you know, had a pretty big weekend in the IMs, but internationally, or at least Olympic trials, your best bet's probably. To yes. breaststroke. Yeah. So does that change anything in your training over the next couple of months, or is it still the same? Do what's worked and just fo change the focus in racing. Maybe a little bit more breaststroke, but um, I think keeping the versatility is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Just so I mean, I I have to be at least decently good at all four strokes. So no matter what stroke I'm doing, I'm always thinking about something. Uh, I just think that's a really good way to stay engaged in every practice. Whereas if I only cared about breaststroke, I'd yeah. be just kind of chilling. And then my mind wander. Since the two are on the same day, four and I am or hundred breasts of trials. Uh, we'll see. Por qué no las dos? Hey, so Ryan, um, I know you touched on it last night, but so we had three Bulls kids all repeat in events this year, and you guys each won two champions, two championships. Um, what does that, how does that kind of mean for you guys? Um, I mean, Sergio just set up a great system at Bulls. Um, he set us up to have sustained success, um, and at the same time, we were swimming fast in high school. So, you know, I think he just set us up really well, not just physically, but uh, he worked a lot with us in, in terms of like our, our mental makeup, uh, our competitiveness, and um, you know, I think we're just lucky that we got got talent too. So this is, if I'm doing the math correctly, this is seven straight years in the top two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does that mean for you guys as a program? Uh, I mean, Dave's done a super great job 
Um, I think he's been at Cal nine years or something yeah, like that. Right. And, um, you know, it's it's hard to be in the top two ever, but to have that type of sustained success, especially going through uh, Greg leaving and then Yuri coming in and Dave integrating him into that system, um, just a great, great thing we got going on. And then when you have guys that come in, you know, like a Prino, like he just killed it every day in practice, brings that energy, and, you know, he's one of those guys that mentors the younger generation in how to train. Like, he took Salascar under his wing this year. Um, you know, they had some battles in practice, and, you know, that's something that's just going to continue to, uh, to help all of us. Yeah, I think the consistency just shows the strength that we have as a group. Um, Murphy nailed it with, uh, I mean, I tried to teach Salascar some things. Um, my freshman year, I remember Tom Shields doing the same thing. Uh, like, four times a week, he would stay with me after practice and work on dolphin kicks. And, I mean, the senior class does that every year, and even after they graduate. Um, and I think that's why we do so well. Ryan, personally, what, it's like, what is it like to break your own record? You know, come to the wall. What's that feeling knowing you broke your own record? Um, you know, I've always been someone who's never really dwelled on my accomplishments. Um, after every meet, I watch race video, try to find something to improve on. And it's nice to have that show up in the result, whether it's a record or not a record, just seeing that, that personal development. Um, that's, like, that's a huge thing for me. Anything else, guys? <laughs> Thank you.